Good morning, I'm Ken here in Burlington, Washington this cold November morning and this is SB Hummingbird 2. Good morning, once again. I wanted to share a few things since our, my last video. In particular, there's been a lot of little things that I've been able to accomplish. I don't know if I've mentioned before, but uh, my wife mentioned that I should tell you that this project started from uh, a large bunch of scrap that uh, was gifted to me several years ago. And from that, I had to determine what was practical to uh, build from that. So the boat has some uh, features that are beyond what most boats do. And most of the design uh, really is, is my own design. The hull form is taken from a small sea dory style uh, Sharpie, basically, and extrapolated to the size it, it is. And then from that, I even added another six feet or so to the back uh, to form a watertight room for the lazarette with the rudder posts coming up in there. So some of that additional space was only recently and in fully enclosed from the stateroom. Uh, with the pilot house, I haven't had room to put in a deck hatch to, for escape for a secondary egress from the uh, stateroom. And so that is also through the watertight bulkhead into the lazarette and out the aft deck hatch. So I won't be uh, appearing too much longer, but I wanted to uh, fill you in on some of the details. So many of the parts that are left to build on the boat, um, now that the exterior is done, are, are small parts such as the uh, uh, pad eyes for the stays for the sprit and uh, things of that nature. I've got to also uh, mention that uh, COVID <laughs> has even affected the construction of the boat. Uh, had to order the last two windows, the others I'd already collected, and those two windows are held up because they can't get the glass for the frames. So it's been almost two months now since I ordered them and we're still waiting for that. Uh, so the plastic's holding during these storms that we're having here in Washington in November. So if you've been watching the videos for a while, you've seen most of this. We did get a cover made uh, earlier this year for the butterfly hatch and the seals have been redone so it doesn't leak. And it also ventilates really quickly if I do get it smoky in here from the welding. Back here is where I was discussing that uh, we finally got the last bit of the bulkhead enclosed and framed in, and the escape hatch uh, transit is combing is all put together, and the door is built and out for powder coat at the moment. So we have a little bit of shots in here. It's a fairly spacious lazarette. It's about uh, six and a half feet tall inside after it's finished and there should be room for a small gen set in the back so that's uh, we're looking forward to that we will have mostly solar but that's just for running in emergencies so this is the main stateroom there will be a couple more bulkheads um, in this direction so that uh, the head can be enclosed what we're looking at right now is the upper part of the shower. And of course, as with any boat project, there are tools and parts everywhere, and that's uh, just the nature of it as, as it gets put together. I'm looking forward to the day that it's clean again. Up the stairs into the pilot house. It's our Dutch door going to be great in the summer. So we have this window that was salvaged from a job that I did and, and uh, repaired and powder coated. Here's the one that we're missing. 
we're missing two that will open for ventilation. And then we have all the rest of them installed and waiting for trim in the future. Now we'll continue out, take a look at the back deck just briefly. So this is the davits, they're not quite finished yet. I've built an arch for it, we'll put solar up there as well as a proper canvas cover at some point. And the, the aft mast and mizzen mast and the boom will be above it. We've got the rear deck hatch there leading into the lazarette as we've looked at before. And then there's still a step missing here but there's the ladder, the boarding ladder and this little bitty of a swim platform but at least it's a nice way onto the boat. Lots of work on the railing to get the curves right. And, um, we'll have a, a step here at some point. Um, there's some things to do first. And of course this is our deck storage box that doubles as a welding bench which is why there's a scrap piece of plate on it just now. So we got most of the pilot houses painted. But we painted so late in the season and dodging rainstorms that you can see that the butyl tape hasn't been trimmed off the windows yet. And that's because the paint was still too soft. And we'll be doing that in the spring and touching up our paint. <clears throat> Here on the foredeck, we've got a catwalk so that we'll be able to reach the boom later but it will also double as a cradle for the dinghy when we're at sea. And there's what the front of the windows look like on the outside of the pilot house. The brow didn't quite get finished painted, it's primed, but uh, the lower part there will be white like the rest of the pilot house once the weather warms back up again. And then the foredeck, it's another three steps, four steps down the bow sprit still waiting for the pulpit and uh, <clears throat> yeah just use a piece of paracord to get things in proper alignment the the cradle there that the sprit passes through will support both railing, pulpit, and uh, another a stay, a pad eye for the staysail stay. Over 50 feet of well.